So right now I'm in Yasutan. I'm gonna show you something that uh, maybe will shock you, maybe not. See all this stuff? These are solar inverters. And this is global house. This so this is a very big system. I can't see the size of these inverters, but uh, you see on the bottom there all the strings going in. Doesn't really matter the size because it's enormous compared to you know what you would be using in houses and stuff like that. But the the point is like uh, people say that uh, solar is underused in Thailand, and I agree with that. But in the fact is meters, that uh, the, the smart guys sort of or the guys with connections, whatever you want to call it, they're already using it in very big scale. Like that system is probably providing free turn electricity left, for then, all left. the global air conditions in, inside there, which is saving them an enormous expense. And uh, as you guys know from uh, previous discussions that we have in the group, the bigger the system, the faster the return of investment. So that system there, they probably have their money back in less than three years. So solar is in Thailand. It's just not uh, talked about so much uh, with the big Turn left. in the big corporations. But of course now it's coming more and more because they they have this huge uh, gas deficit uh, that they just have to fix. I just want to show you a special area. I'm driving now westwards out from Yasuton city in Isan and this is a pretty spectacular place uh, and what I'm referring to is the trees and as we drive down there you will see uh, actually more and more examples of these gorgeous big trees maybe you don't have the same interest as me in trees but I find look at that one for example really beautiful and so big you know so as we go down here, you're gonna see more and more of it, and I just find it really beautiful. So if you're ever in this area, at least uh, take take this road if you can. Definitely one of the more scenic ones. Uh, right now I'm going to a system we are doing. Um, I've been to Global, just bought some PVC connectors. We are installing a um, battery system with a 10 kilowatt hour battery on a single phase connection. Uh, here we are guys, um, during the installation of an Alpha 5 uh, battery system. Here we have the battery, 10 kilowatt hour battery. This is the inverter that we have installed many times, 5 kilowatt AC max, but it's able to charge the battery and give 5000 to the load at the same time. So that's the... So it actually has some many functions of the 10 kilowatt system, this, this system, even though it's a 5 kilowatt. So we're leaving a lot of space here, just because this customer has told us that he may be going to expand. So with one more battery and then we have that space, then we move the inverter up and the second battery goes on top of this battery. That is the best way. So that's one of the very important things when we install that we make a plan for the future about things like that. Um, so here's the equipment. I'll go down and show you. At least we can get a glimpse of the of the roof here. So they are putting the frame on right now. 22 panels there. Really perfect angle to the south. Like I've said in other videos, don't over focus on perfection of the roof because the amount of energy that you lose, you might have other benefits. So let's say that you have east-west. You don't have a south roof like this. East-west is also very good. So even though this is probably even better, an east-west configuration is very, very good also. So no problem. And then let's go down to the guys, see what they're doing. Well, there was just lunchtime here. So here we have Nong relaxing and here we have the panels, that's the Ryzen that we use a lot now, very happy with them. Not only look good but uh, also very nice, solid feeling and also not too big so it's easy to get up on the roof and, and everything like that. So here we have the guys just finished lunch, here we have Nong. 
Peter. And here we have my son Joe. So on this job we have three electricians. And um, the other staff is like specialists on construction and, and roof. So, so we're able to do anything that we have to do. Doesn't matter what it is. Because, you know, when you install solar, it's not only about putting up the stuff. It's about sometimes, or not even sometimes, most of the time running new cables. Because the electrical system is not set up the way that we want it for the UPS and, and things like that. So... I would say it's the standard is that we have to change quite a bit. So in this case, we are running cables to the water pump. And that's a pretty big job. So, but that's okay. We are used to that. So that's it from uh, Yasuton.